Hey there guys, welcome back to another ration review and today we have one of these instant hot pots. I know I've been gone for a little while, but I guess you could say I'm back. And um, yeah, these have been out for a while, but I finally got my hands on some of these and so far from what I've tried, they're pretty good. So we're gonna check this one out. This one seems to be some kind of fish hot pot. So it's gonna be fishy, maybe a little bit spicy. So let's check it out. All right, let's open it up, let's see what we got. I mean, let's check out the packaging first. We got these nice colorful illustrations. Fish fillet with spicy soup. Sounds good. We've got like, we've got the ingredients and the instructions. This thing's actually pretty big, pretty hefty. So let's get it opened up. So here are the instructions. They're pretty straightforward. Just empty all the packets. It tells you to add hot water, to add boiling hot water. So that's uh, very interesting. And then you activate the flameless heater. Let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's about it. This one's very simple. We got some vegetables. Now this one seems to be freeze dried and it says fish package. So we've got some freeze dried fish, a bowl, some glass noodles, nice little ladle spoon. Chopsticks. Looks like the spicy sauce with oil. And we've got our heating pad for the heating. And that's about it. So let's get this stuff put together and try it out. And there we have all the contents. What's really piquing my interest is that freeze dried fish. Never had anything like that. So that's going to be really interesting. And that's about it. We're gonna get some water boiling, so. All right, so let's uh, get this prepared. Got our noodles. Our nice hefty pouch of veggies. Our freeze dried fish. Ooh, that's really fishy. Let me get a close up of that. Check that out. Mmm. Nice and fishy. We got a spicy sauce. We gotta make sure we get all of it. Definitely smells garlicky, a little bit like ginger. There's our hot pot. Let's check out these chopsticks. We 
down. So there's our fill line right there. Just put some water and then we'll drop our heating pad in there. So I think our water is done boiling. Shut it off. Right, we've got a fill line right there, so I'm gonna add our boiling water. Then we're gonna add our heating pad. These are just like the MRE heating packs or flameless ration heaters. So now it's gonna get activated. We drop our soup in there. Close it up. See it's got a little vent hole. And we're gonna give it 15 to 20 minutes. That thing's got some power, look at that. And it's obviously activated. You can see the little steam. Now this thing is really cranking. You can hear that soup boiling inside. You can see all the steam coming out. It's very hot. So it is working perfectly. So I think our hot pot is ready. So let's check it out, let's get a peek. Get that money shot. And there we have it. Our instant hot pot. Let's give it a little stir. You see all the vegetables. We got potatoes. We've got um, this stuff. I think it's called lotus root or something like that our glass noodles looks like we got some bamboo shoots got some bean sprouts of course we got the fish so we got some seaweed but yeah everything just smells incredible nice and spicy aroma you could definitely smell that ginger and garlic so Let's get a look at those ingredients. All right, so for the ingredients, we have the freeze-dried basa fish. Vegetables in the bag are potato, lotus root, bamboo shoots, and mushrooms. Cloud ears, bean sprouts, salt, and all kinds of nice uh, additives. For the spicy sauce bag, we have vegetable oil, bean paste, chili, beans, water, salt, garlic, ginger, pepper, sugar, pepper, spices, less than 2% of yeast extract, and so on. The ingredients contain soybean and fish products, so yeah, you definitely get a nice scent of all these ingredients. The spicy scent and the garlic, the ginger are the most prominent, but overall, it looks excellent, nice and hot. So I guess we're going to give it a taste. We're going to try the spicy sauce first. It's nice and hot, steamy. Ooh, that is really savory, very tasty. Um, no fishy taste, it just tastes spicy and garlicky. Definitely taste that ginger. Oh wow, that is excellent. Guess we can try the lotus flower root. There it is. Mm. Oh wow, it's nice and crunchy. That lotus root's got a really crunchy texture. Flavor-wise, I think it's its own unique thing, but um, yeah, definitely crunchy. Let's try some of the potatoes. Mm. 
very crunchy as well. Um, very interesting. Let's get some of that soup. Nice soup base. That is really hot. Got some bamboo shoots. Mmm. Those are amazing. There's our fish. Guess we can get a nice little piece. Looks like it's nice and rehydrated. You can see it's a little bit flaky. There we go. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is excellent. That is surprisingly really good. Very flavorful. Just the right amount of saltiness. The texture is just spot on. So I'm really uh, amazed by this freeze-dried fish. Nice and tender and juicy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is excellent. Another bamboo shoot. Mmm. It's just that perfect crunch. There's just a ton of flavor packed in each bite. Let's try one of these mushrooms. Check that out. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is excellent. That sauce is just amazing. It's very crunchy. Try some of these noodles. There's our glass noodles. Mmm. Nice and tender. It's just the sauce is amazing. Mmm. Ooh. <clears throat> nice and spicy. It's not too spicy, but it is a little bit spicy. So, I'm going to finish the rest. All right, I guess that's it. Um, these hot pots are excellent. I've had a couple of these and each one has been just amazing. The texture of the vegetables is just spot on. It's nice and crunchy. That sauce, it's not too spicy, but you know, if you're a little bit sensitive to heat, you might want to avoid that or maybe just add a little bit less. Um, that fish filet was just amazing. Just the texture, the flavor, the you know juiciness. I'm really surprised, really amazed. Overall, these are excellent. So if you have an Asian store nearby and they have these in stock, highly recommend them. Don't skip out on them. At least give one a try. So yeah, really enjoyed it. On a scale from one to 10, I would have to give it an eight out of 10. Definitely a must try. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thank you guys for watching and see you soon.